Hello everyone, this is Ashwin Ranjay back with another video. So, today I've decided to just do a little voiceover over one of my videos because, eh, why not? Anyway, I intend to keep doing this. Hopefully, I can manage to keep talking for the next five minutes. Hopefully, I don't know. So, what I have here, this is just a quick little doodle sketch thing. I wasn't really planning on anything specifically. I just drew what came natural of me, which apparently is screaming skeletons. Hmm, who knew? So, besides that, yeah, I've been... Um, actually, I don't know what to say, actually. This is gonna be a terrible audio for a video. If you don't like hearing my voice, just play a song. So just, so just spring hop, that's, that's good. Actual swing. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I don't remember anymore. So yeah, basically I just drew whatever came to mind and this came out with a little skeleton of an, with the eyes inside the mouth. Those are those that's a really fun design though, I found. Yeah, that's always a that's always fun for like a monster to have like eyes in its mouth. It's like the last place you expect the mouth to be. I mean the eyes to be. Actually yeah, I could think of weirder places but still no one suspects. It's like the most, it's like the next, sorry, it's the very opposite actually, it's like the most obvious place for where the eyes should be, if not in the eye socket apparently. So, hmm, this is gonna take a while. My painting technique is very slow, as you can see. But uh, what can you do? That's what you get for drawing with a mouse. I suppose I could. Try using the pen tool and just block everything in, but it's just too much of a hassle for me. I'd rather just go through the effort of painting things and then painting it over. It has that it has that uh, traditional painting view. I did painting once and I like it. So yeah, give this guy some blue eyes because hey why not? The skeleton's all white, so give it some contrast, something to look at. Um, also, yeah, I can't really say much else, can I? There's another. There's like, I went like halfway through this video and I can't say anything else. Hmm. What I could say was going on in my life. I'm gonna enter uni in the next, in a couple of weeks time. So there'll be even less art and videos. But hey, I could... But I rarely ever make art in the first place, so eh, that won't make a difference. Now would it? But yeah, I really hope I could keep making, keep talking. Hopefully I'll get the hang of it by the time I actually become good at art. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you can see me just adding all the shadows and shading and whatnot. It's, I can't talk about what I'm doing. It's so boring and straightforward. I should have studied up much more than I should. Why? Why did I do this? Hmm. So what do I plan on doing? Actually, I don't know actually. I think most likely I'm gonna just end up doodling a bit more. Try making as many videos as I can just to get in the swing of things. Hopefully I can get around to making very short comics or anything really. Anything art related. That'd be very useful, I wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be. Probably gonna do fan art. As you know, most likely I am going to do fan art because yeah, I am not a very creative person. <laughs> you think you think an artist would be creative, but no, I that's not the case apparently. Just because you know how to draw doesn't mean you know what to draw. So that's always been my biggest problem of why I don't post that much stuff. A lot of very uninspired things and I'm like eh. I could be doing more, but I don't know what that more could be. It's sad, really, in a way, but eh, I suppose I'll get the hang of it. So yeah, most likely I'm just gonna do draw some fan art, make it pretty. And yeah, finally getting nearly done here. You can see me just removing all the paintbrush strokes, sort of like 
um, this is like my favorite part in a way because it's like cleaning up. You know, it's like when you paint, you just like um, when you're painting walls, you just put like duct tape over everything. Not duct tape, masking tape. You know, the tape made of paper, the, those kind of tapes. You just put it on the wall just to basically mask things out, basically, so you don't paint over certain things. And then when you peel it back, this is what it's like. It's very, it's very satisfying. <laughs> so this is it, my video.